Well, it's a beautiful evening here at Limerick Race Course, and it's been a real stir here in a couple of hours pre race. We've had 80 plus youngsters, if you like, from pony clubs around Limerick County, uh, being guided around behind the scenes tour at the track here, see what goes on at the races. On your corner, amateur rider as well as working for Equip. Uh, what's happening here today? Uh, yeah, so we've a big buzz, a lot of action going on today. We've got Sonny here from Limerick Pony Club. We've got Terry from Thoman Pony Club and Martha from Limerick Pony Club. Um, they've come to join us to get a behind-the-scenes tour of what it's like to be a jockey or a trainer or even a steward for race day. So they've got to meet Val O'Connell. Val had a few words with them about the clerk of the course. Uh, they got to walk out in the track. They got to see a fence. Some of them jumped it. Um, you'd see less fallers in a bad novice chase. Um, and, yeah, so they, they're getting a, a full flavour for what it's like to come race on Friday. And through your team and Equip, of course, this is the idea of Equip, is to get people going race and working and race and try and promote the sport. Exactly. So Equip is the education and training department of HRI and, and that's exactly what we do. We're just trying to reach out to younger people and, and show them what it's like to come racing and, and get a flavour for racing. Um, racing is an easy sell once you get people in because you, you can sell the dream and let them see mm. what it's like. Uh, but it's just to get them in the gates and, and I think uh, everyone will agree with me that it, it'll be a great day. That's a great turnout for it. And uh, Sonny, how's your day been? Uh, good so far. Uh, it's informational and just interesting. But the course walk and the size of the chase fences were like massive. You wouldn't think it when you're watching it on TV. <laughs> you obviously ride ponies all the time. Uh, yeah. what, uh, would you like to have a go over the big fences or hurls? Yes, maybe someday. <laughs> very good. And who else have we got here on you? Uh, this is Ter Terry from Thoman Pony Club. Terry rides out for Eric McNamara, I believe. Yeah. How, how do you find that? Yeah, it's good. Good. And you were up to the apprentice school recently, I heard? Yeah. Good. And who else have we here? And this is... Uh, Martha Buckley. How has your day been, Martha? Good, really fun and interesting. What has been the best part about it? Um, meeting the jockey and walking the course. And, yeah. It's very good. And I heard you're going to pick the best turned out horse in one of the races tonight yeah. as well. Yeah. And what, how many ponies do you have or what do, where do you ride uh, your pony? Three ponies. Really? Yeah. Really? What are their names? Uh, Sky, Bagsy and Prince. There you go. And Anya, uh, obviously you have 80 plus kids here today. It's great to see the turnout like this. Yeah, fantastic. We, when we initially set up the day and, and thought about doing it, we, we thought we might get maybe 40 kids max, but the buy-in has been massive. We've got 85 here, um, so it's, it's great. It's, you know, the, fl the, the interest is very much here in Limerick. So. It's really great to see and uh, future plans going ahead, more days out like this for around the country, I would imagine. Yeah, hopefully today was very much a pilot day to see how it goes. Um, so far, so good. So so yeah, we'll be getting in touch with more pony clubs around the country and, and getting more involved. It's great to see, great to see the next generation here at Limerick tonight. Well done. Thanks very much, Fran.